And the next speaker is going to be Diego, himself son of a son of a, a refugee from <laughs> from El Salvador. He's going to be speaking about uh, his experience. He also represents Democrats Abroad Berlin. Please welcome Diego. Thank you everyone for coming out this evening. It's great to see that's a great crowd. Um, I'm, going to I'm going to speak mostly this evening about Democrats Abroad and the electoral process, not to diminish the role and the important role of protesting, um, but simply just to get some important information out on how we, um, how U.S. citizens can vote from abroad to then ensure that we have politicians who represent um, all of us and not just a few. So, looking forward to 2020, one thing needs to be clear. It's that the Democratic Party needs to win. This evening, I want to talk with you about how we can do our part to win from Berlin. Democrats Abroad Berlin is working hard to ensure that the 20,000 U.S. citizens and permanent residents living in Berlin have their voices heard not only this year in 2019 and several special elections, but also in 2020. Do we have anyone here from Kentucky, Louisiana, Mississippi, Virginia, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, or New Jersey? New Jersey! Woo! Awesome. You have an election this year, and I really encourage you to go to votefromabroad.org to make sure that you are registered to vote and to request your ballot. For everyone else, we strongly urge you that in January 2020, that you are registered to vote and that you request your ballot. We believe that you need to request your ballot every single year to make sure that you are ready to vote in November. So please mark your calendars in January 2020 for all the US citizens and permanent residents out there and request your ballot. In February 2020, commit yourself to helping at least 20 other US citizens or permanent residents to do the same. And on Super Tuesday in March 2020, vote at your local polling station here in Berlin at the global presidential primary, where the outcome will determine the allocation of Democrats abroad's delegates at the 2020 convention in Milwaukee. That's right, we do have a voice in determining who the next Democratic presidential candidate will be. As a Big Ten party, and especially here in Berlin, we encourage all voices, and we want to include everyone, come participate on Super Tuesday in March 2020. However, voting for the sake of voting is not enough. Today's vigil is a sombering reminder of why we must continue to mobilize the vote from abroad. We are at a point in US history where a xenophobic vocal minority is enforcing atrocious policies at the border. And as we have heard from other speakers today, the United States has also throughout history supported wrong policies that have negatively impacted millions of lives in Central and Latin America. Among other actions we can do, that is one reason for us to vote in 2019 and in 2020. We need to come together once and for all as an electoral force to demonstrate that now, in 2019, the majority will not sit on the sidelines as people fleeing violence are demonized and instrumentalized for self-serving political agendas. We are the majority. We cannot let this small minority be represented. Together, let's mobilize the vote here in Berlin, the 20,000 votes. This can make a difference so that our government not only reflects us, the people, but also listens and acts when we demand that the camps are closed, that when we demand to abolish ICE, when we demand that we want to pass the DREAM Act, when we want to introduce legislation that provides a path to citizenship for every resident, refugee, and immigrant who wants to live in the United States. And it doesn't stop there, of course. We need to have voices in our government on all levels of government, the city council to the presidency, that really not only listens and acts upon these previously mentioned immigration policies, but other social policies, such as Medicare for All, that help these people, immigrants, upon their arrival. Join us in electing city council members, state legislators, governors, members of Congress, and a president who understand what it means to govern for Americans. 
And by Americans, I of course mean those from San Francisco to San Salvador to Santiago, Chile. Let's win it for all the Americans.